Alright guys, so I put the plastic back on and this is pretty much the finished configuration, at least for now. We've got everything done and uh, with the plastic on, it looks a little bit, looks a lot better. Doesn't, doesn't necessarily look like it's been changed unless you hear that it doesn't make noise from the gas. Um, you could see the batteries in there pretty tucked in and you just have the connector right here and then the two plugs to to test the balancing and make sure the battery stays balanced and the motors just down there but uh, it looks a lot better with the plastic and kind of like the LED lights instead of the the old the old lights this side's a little the battery's actually a little farther over on this side than the other side so there's not as much room for the for the plug so i'll have to play with tucking this up in there a little bit but other than that you got the balancing ports right here to test that battery as we're charging it as well but uh yeah not a bad deal um i'll have to do all the the math there was some incidental like the you know 10 bucks for a piece of, of steel strap to hold the battery in and some heat shrink and and some screws and things but for the most part it was the 898 dollar motor kit with the controller and the hand controls and everything you needed and then those batteries i ended up paying like i said a uh, 18 dollars 50 cents each for 10 packs so it was 185 dollars plus shipping it was like 200 bucks plus some heat shrink and a little bit of extra wire but really for not much more than 200 dollars i have a 26 amp hour battery in so yeah i'd say the conversion actually ended up being cheaper than i thought it would it it ended up being what 9 10 11 maybe 1200 dollars total and uh, I'm hoping to get at least, I don't know, 20 miles or something to be able to go to work and back all week. I only work four days a week, but I could probably go to work and back four times easy, recharge on my weekends, and uh, and then be able to go out and play with it for, for a few hours. Um, I'll see how the batteries hold up. When I charged them, I'll had pictures of that but when I charged them they only took about 20 amp hours on charge and they were pretty dead when I started the charge so now I do only charge them to 4.1 but even with that I, I doubt that they would hold 26 it's probably closer to 22 or 23 but um, but maybe after I cycle them a few times we'll see they bounce back because I believe the date codes I saw on them somewhere was 2016 so you know they're they're not exactly brand new um, but yeah I'm excited it should should be a fun little toy to go out tool around in the dirt with the kids and, and be able to use it to to run errands and things like that you know so I'll uh, post some videos of the performance and once I figure out true range and top speed and stuff like that, I'll post those videos as well. But uh, uh, job is done. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.